Okay, folks, here's a quick review of the Arkham City Mr. Freeze figure that was produced by Mattel as a part of the DC Comics Multiverse line of three and three quarter inch scale action figures. Okay, the articulation joints on Mr. Freeze were easy to move straight out of packaging. Mr. Freeze has articulation in the shoulders, the elbows, the wrists, the waist, the hips, and the knees. Mr. Freeze's uh, head has no range of movement, and in this case, that's completely understandable if you uh, know who this uh, character is. Elbows and knees appear to be single jointed, and the wrists spin 360 degrees, but they uh, feature no other range of movement. Now, like with Azrael, I was a bit concerned that the uh, shoulder articulation would be restricted due to the shoulder pads. And on this figure, um, that fear was somewhat unfounded, as the shoulders can't rotate 360 degrees due to his uniform design, but they can move in and out freely, as the shoulder pads are made of a soft plastic. The hips move in and out, and they also move forward and back. Pan apps on the figure. They were nicely done, with no appreciable errors to speak of, and the detailing on Mr. Freeze is also nicely done. So let me pause here, zoom in, and I'm going to give you a closer look as to what Mr. Freeze looks like. Okay. Oh, on a side note, this is one of the few times where I've had to do a tiny bit of assembly on a three and three quarter inch scale action figure. Um, a backpack was included and it had to be inserted into his back. And as I found out, once it's in place, it's there permanently. However, there was one other accessory included. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, here is the other accessory that I just spoke of. And this came with uh, Mr. Freeze. This is Mr. Freeze's freeze gun. His freeze gun can only be placed in his right hand, since his left hand is molded closed in a fist. The gripping hand is firm, and as you can see, this gun does have some nice detailing on it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is a quick 360 of Mr. Freeze for you, and let you see what he looks like from all sides. So here he is from the front. Okay, here is Mr. Freeze from the left hand side. Here is Mr. Freeze from the rear, with the uh, backpack permanently in place. Okay, here is Mr. Freeze from the right-hand side. And finally, here is Mr. Freeze, once again, facing forward. Okay, so overall, I'd have to say that this is a, pardon the pun, a cool figure. <laughs> uh, paint ups were nicely done, and there's a good range of posing options with the figure. However, uh, as before, I do think that some ankle articulation would have been good to have on this figure. But uh, I was glad to see that there were accessories included in the package and that Mr. Freeze does hold his freeze gun very nicely. So overall, um, I have to say that Mr. Freeze, he deserves a great recommendation. Uh, I really like this figure. And so far, I think it's my favorite of the uh, DC Multiverse 3 and 3 quarter inch scale action figures that I've reviewed so far. Uh, and I also feel that this is definitely a figure to get if you're a Batman or if you're an Arkham City video game fan. Okay, so on that note, take care and stay tuned for my next review. Have a good one.